Can you believe it? The biggest fighter jet deal in the world is stuck because of geopolitics. Not some technological debate on the pros and cons of the two jets or which one is better and more needed in India, but mostly to find the answer which side you are on. It's a tough call. If we pick the Russian 257, US under Trump will definitely threaten us with some sanctions. But if we pick USA's F-35, it will change the power dynamics in Asia creating more tensions on the border. Similarly, there are many tough questions and complex international equations. So by the end of this video, I'll try to give you some clarity on these three key questions. First, the geopolitics behind the possible Indian purchase of a fifth generation fighter jet. Second, the best possible option for India under the technological, financial and geopolitical limits. Third, the future of Indian Air Force and the overall aviation industry in India. But first of all, what are these options and why are we even talking about it? Let me remind you some facts. China, our friendly neighbor, already has fifth generation fighter jets and they are finishing up sixth generation. Whereas we are struggling with 4.5, you know where we are. That means at present, there is a 15 year gap in technology between India and China, which by the way is bound to increase to 25 or even 30 years if India decides to develop its own fifth generation fighter jet, meaning we need an intervention now. The world knows it and that's why there are many offers on the table. To be specific, Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II from USA and Sukhoi's Su-57 Felon from Russia. Please note, these might not be the only offers. Some old versions with advancements are also being discussed. By the way, if you haven't already, do check out my last video on why India needs advanced jets. Uh, I'll link it somewhere in the end of the video. Coming to details, Russia has openly offered the production of its most advanced warplane Sukhoi Su-57 in India and even supporting India's efforts to develop its own fifth generation fighter jet. And to counter it, US also has an offer, their F-35 fighter jet. But it's not that clear-cut offer which the Indian media has been pushing. Actually, Trump summarizes it very well. Listen to this. Increasing military sales to India by many billions of dollars. We're also paving the way to ultimately provide India with the F-35 stealth fighters. Yes, ultimately provide. Ultimately means finally in the end, eventually, someday in the future, after you buy the other stuff I'm requesting you to buy behind the scenes, like for example, the Striker Combat Vehicle or the F-21 fighter jet, which are also called the Super F-16 on steroids. The same F-16s which US had provided to Pakistan and in 2019, uh, an Indian pilot, Group Captain Abhinandan Vardhaman, shot it down at LOC. Why would India buy it? Why would India fall for it? Welcome to geopolitics. And this very attractive US offer of ultimately giving the F-35 could be a strategic move to reduce India's long-standing relations, defense relations with Russia. Or maybe just to keep things on hold for a while. Although we can't deny the purchase of these American fighter jets could change the geopolitics of Indian subcontinent. Both China and Pakistan are closely monitoring these developments. India's purchase of F-35 would be a direct challenge to Chinese air superiority in the region, which I personally believe would be a great thing for India. Achha, cost is also another factor. The F-35s are amongst the most expensive fighter jets ever built, with each jet, co each jet costing between 80 million to over 100 million depending on the model and the extra features. So are we planning to engage in a dogfight with China with these imported highly pricey fighter jets? I don't think so. Furthermore, there is also a psychological complication. Given the slow paced technological transfer from US to India, India can't really trust and rely on US, especially for defense cooperation. So from the geopolitical point of view, at least to me, the F-35 deal seems a little less likely. But technically, what's the best offer on the table and what's best for India? Good question. Based on the stealth technology, which by the way makes the fifth generation fighter jets so special, 
the F-35 has no match. And without a doubt, the F-35 deal, if comes true, will boost the Indian defense. At this point, I think I should tell you something about the F-35. They are not actually a fighter jet. I mean, they are, but they are rather a system. An advanced sensor system that enables them to be stealth and go deep into the enemy territory, largely undetected. And this system needs regular checks, maintenance, trainings, which have their own separate cost, very high costs. So India, who is also planning to develop its own fifth generation fighter jet, cannot be serious about uh, this subscription based model of a fighter jet. Plus, because of trust issues with US, Indian government might also be thinking, what if tomorrow US refuses to share any updates or any maintenances and uh, anything critical. And that makes the F-35 more like a dependency. But we are not done yet. The most important point is the entire Indian Air Force infrastructure is designed for the Russian Sukhoi and MiG fighter jets. Now, adding F-35 would require major changes to the logistics, maintenance and support systems. And don't forget, we also have the Russian S-400 defense systems and the BrahMos missile which we developed with Russia. So the question is, will they work with the American systems? It would be like using Microsoft PC and Apple MacBook simultaneously for your most critical project. Talking about the Su-57, it's a twin-engine multi-role jet, faster, cheaper and with larger combat range. And the Russians have also agreed to transfer their technology. Just great. But there is a problem. The American F-35 with its advanced stealth capabilities is more like an offensive jet. Whereas the Su-57 with its limited stealth capabilities would more be like a defensive jet. Furthermore, the Su-57 is comparatively new with less number of jets in active duty and its technical capabilities have not yet been tested. Whereas over a thousand F-35s are in active duty in different countries. So capability wise, we can't undermine the technology behind the F-35. The only question is, will the USA transfer this technology to India and transfer it on time? So finally, to conclude, the real options for India are Option 1, buy into the hope of a future delivery of F-35 and face the challenges like no local manufacturing, high cost and dependency on US. Option 2, buy the Russian Su-57 which comes with technology transfer and will be produced in India. Although maybe a little less technologically advanced and comparatively new. And option 3, focus on the indigenous project HAS AMCA, AMCA and risk delays and a growing capability gap with our neighbors. One quick side note, India might soon be invited to a global combat air program, GCAP, uh, as a partner to develop the sixth generation fighter jet. It's a program uh, led by UK, Italy and Japan, with all three which have good relations with India. Similarly, there are so many things happening in this industry. So if you want me to continue making similar videos, please help me grow this channel. As I see it, all the negative points about the American F-35 other than the trust factor should be considered as a fee to learn the technology. But the key is, and I will again say, US must transfer the technology and soon. So I believe what India should be doing and what will give us more control over our future is to negotiate buying a limited amount of F-35 jets that doesn't hinder our progress in the indigenous attempt, HAL's AMCA. India must not lose focus on it because self-reliance is the ultimate goal. And getting one squadron strength or 18 jets of Su-57, if the budget allows it, would be an added advantage. But missing this deal is not a loss.